Yeah, this is a video about extracting the idle or slow jets on an 81 GL100 Goldwing carburetor. These are pressed in on the 81s and they're a headache for many people, including myself. This is a method I've been doing my last three ones with. They were stuck as shit. First, I made this standoff so that I made my drill might drill six millimeters down six millimeters not more not less into the middle of the jet I've already done this the second step would be to carefully thread that hole for a three millimeter metric three millimeter by oh, 0 0.5 I think first using a fire uh, what do you call it a step one tap and then a bottoming tap this has not been extracted in 40 years this is the third one step number three is to take this three millimeter screw or bolt just a regular one with a nut and a uh, what do you call it bricka in swedish and thread it into the jet the thing is when you drill six millimeters down you don't touch the orifice that regulates the fuel coming through. I can tell you for sure that this won't affect, per affect performance, but this is the option. And let me then carefully tighten this, at least the previous three ones. I could not get these out with screw extractors. I broke one off inside a jet, which was a harrowing experience. Well, this one was actually a lot looser than the other ones. Figure that. Uh, yeah, and then you just unscrew it from the nut or the bolt. This took a lot more force. In the earlier three ones, this one I might have been able to pull out with just a roofing screw, but uh, yeah, this one's on me.